Good morning, mamas. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to be back after several days of taking a little break. Um, I just got started with my channel, and then we had several sicknesses sweep through our household. We're just on the tail end of it, and I really need to get my whole house back in order and get it sanitized and all that. So I thought I would do a video on um, how I plan to tackle my house, um, what I like to do on days when um, I have some peace and quiet around here and the whole house needs cleaning. So I wanted to share that with you and um, if you don't need to do that today, maybe you'll need to do that in the future and hopefully this can be an encouragement to you then. So um, the first, very first thing I did was just get ready for my day, get you know, shower, dress, hair, makeup, teeth brush, all that sort of thing after I have my breakfast and my coffee. And that helps me feel fresh and motivated to get the work done. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the beds. And um, some of the linens need to be washed today. Um, if they don't, I'm just going to make the bed, but I'm going to get all the beds made. And that sort of sets the tone um, for the whole house and uh, motivates me to get everything done. And then I'll move all of the dirty laundry to the laundry room and get a load going. I actually already have a load going for the day, and I'm just going to make sure to keep up on that through the whole day. And my goal is that at the end of the day, all the clean laundry will be folded and put away as well, so I don't have to worry about that on another day. Um, then I'm going to move to my kitchen and we don't have a dishwasher. If you have a dishwasher, go ahead and get a load running at that time. I will be just washing them by hand and then letting them air dry so that once they're air dried, at another point in the day, I can put them away and be done with that chore. Um, and then I'll wipe my counters down and just make sure that anything that is not in its home gets moved to its proper home. Then I'll just move through the natural pattern of my house. So from the kitchen, I'll go to the living room, and then I'll start in the bedrooms and the bathrooms. And what I like to do is um, you can use a basket, set it outside the door, or sometimes I just um, set, set things outside the door if they don't belong in that room. But anything that doesn't belong in that room, set outside. Don't run around the house a whole bunch of times. Just set it outside the door, and then when you're done in that room, you can take those things and put them in their proper homes. So that saves me a lot of lot of time when I'm cleaning up the bedrooms. Um, but just move through the natural pattern of the home, tidy up the rooms, make sure all the clean clothes are put away, things like that. And um, then when you get all the, the tidying done, then I'll be starting at, um, at my starting point again, like laundry room, um, kitchen area, and I'll be doing the actual cleaning part, wiping down anything that needs wiping down and um, starting from you know ceiling to floor. And then finally, when all the um, wiping and dusting and all that gets done, then I'll move on to the floors as the final thing, sweeping, vacuuming, and hopefully some mopping too. So um, that will take several hours. We have a, a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, um, which is pretty small, but um, with lots of people living here, it makes for quite a mess at times and, and a, a longer time cleaning. So this is not a quick fix clean routine. This will be if you have a day that you have the time to do it and need to get it done. Hopefully this will be your motivation. So let me just pray for you. Dear Lord, thank you for the lady who's watching this video. You know who she is. Um, and you know uh, that our mama hearts get tired and weary at times. But I pray that you would give us the motivation we need to make our home um, a haven for our families today, a peaceful place. And um, I pray that you would encourage these mamas and help us to just keep our eyes said on you and to do these things as if we're doing them for you. Thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Blessings on you, mama.